The difference between love and lust is like the difference between a strawberry smoothie and a whole strawberry. One is quick and easy and packs a punch. The smoothie requires effort. Like love, a smoothie is more nutritious than a whole strawberry. Unfortunately, it is not as easy to differentiate between lust and love. Lust and the initial stages of love trigger similar reactions in the body. They activate the same neural pathways. Even the subjective experience of the two is rather similar. To top it all, culture glorifies love and tells us lust is vulgar. This potpourri of biological and cultural interpretations of love and lust often makes us believe that feelings exist where they may necessarily not. Helen Fisher, an anthropologist with a keen interest in love, studied the stages of mating and reproduction in mammals. She identified three stages. Stage 1. Lust. This is when you feel strong sexual desire toward another person. Stage 2. Attraction. This stage is characterized by a sort of an obsessive thinking about the other, and a desire to become emotionally involved. Stage 3. Attachment. In this stage, you focus on maintaining closeness. Fisher identified this stage as being associated with a sense of calm, comfort and emotional union. Picture this. You are taking a walk in a beautiful garden. You spot a lush rose that you desire. You pluck it and bring it home. When you place it in a vase, you start feeling like this one flower is not enough. You want to add more. You add a daisy. Still doesn't feel quite enough. You add a dahlia. You still want more. You add a tuberose. And now, you have a big beautiful bouquet of different kinds of flowers. This bouquet is love. The rose you spotted and desired so deeply was lust. The bouquet is a mix of different feelings. Lust is one of them. But there's also care, respect, friendship that completes love. Is it love or lust? Read the full article on www.keepingzen.in. Oh,